Hi guys, this is Ajin. So uh, today I'm going to talk about information gathering and XSS exploitation with the OWASP Synotix XSS exploit framework. So uh, in order to perform information gathering and uh, do exploitation, you have to configure the Synotix payload server. So for that, go to settings, then you have to select configure server. So uh, based on your environment, you can choose an IP. So if you're testing in your local environment, you can give a local IP like a local host that is 127.0.0.1. And if you are testing in a LAN environment, you can give a LAN IP. Or in case if you're testing uh, in, an, in a network that is facing internet, you can give a public IP. Yeah. So uh, today for the demo, I'll be using a LAN environment. So here is a virtual machine running on VMware. So the IP of the machine is uh, 192.168.44.129. So you need to configure Xenotex with a LAN IP, right? So if I just place my mouse over here, Xenotex will show all the possible IPs on which I can run my server as a tooltip. So basically I'll, I'll go with uh, this one, that is 192.168.44.1, yeah. So 192.168.44.1. So this will make Synotix reachable in the LAN network. And now I can run on any port number. So let it be 5058 itself. So now we have an option called semi-persistent hook. So if you check that option, what happens is that when you put the Synotix hook into any page, any vulnerable page, uh, once the script is executed, if uh, anyone tries to click on any links, in that particular page, what happens is that uh, every links will be opened in a new tab. So that will keep your injected or zoop page in the background. So that will give you some sort of persistence in the hook. All right. So for the demo, I'll, I'll be clicking it. All right. And then let's start the server. So now the payload server is running. So now you can inject uh, this script or this particular JavaScript file so this is called zook in Xenotix so uh, you have to inject the zook URL to the web application which are vulnerable to cross-site scripting and uh, here is another URL generated by Xenotix so this is used for testing or showcasing the features of uh, Xenotix so that is basically a zook URL so now we are testing on a different uh, web application which is vulnerable to XSS Xenotix will also allow you to generate QR zook so what it means is like uh, it will create a book code or a QR code which uh, you can scan with your mobile or any QR code scanner and uh, it will be containing a URL which is zooped. All right. So let's click on generate zook. Now the QR code corresponding uh, to a zook URL is here. So if you put it in uh, some places like posters or any, anywhere where people used to scan this QR code and if they scan this one, uh, they'll be asked to open a URL. So if they open that URL, uh, that means you got another victim who is suit. So basically you can do almost everything uh, based on what his browser support and a lot of things like that. So, uh, all right, moving on, let's hide it. So now Xenotix is ready to perform uh, the information gathering and access exploitation. So let's test it. Let's go to a VM. Now uh, let's see whether the page is vulnerable or not. So yes, so yeah, so the page is vulnerable. Now what we can do is we can just give our Xenotic Sook here. Let's uh, copy it once again. Go to settings, configure server, copy it, hide it, and fix it here. So now click on search. So uh, we are used for the option. So we choose for the option uh, semi persistent hook. So if I click on any links, what happens is it will be opened in a new tab. So our soup page will be there in the background so anywhere I click in this page it will open new pages in 
new tabs so that will give some sort of persistence to us all right so this is how you set up uh, an environment for exploitation or information gathering in synotics thank you